Over the past few months, this YouTube account has been earning thousands of dollars from simple AI-generated wisdom videos. Their videos are getting tens of millions of views, and if we look further, we can see that this account was started only a year ago, and in that time, they've got over 600 million views and 1.3 million subscribers. Now, while these videos are from shorts, today I'll show you how to replicate these videos for TikTok, which pays 10 times as much as shorts. We'll literally do everything from scripting the video, creating voiceover, creating images, and editing, and it won't cost you a cent. This video is full of value, and to prove it, here's the short that I was able to make in 10 minutes. In a small village nestled between rolling hills, lived a humble farmer named Karan. People are outworking you right now, and now's the time to lock in, you actually got to work if you wanna make it. In this video's description, there's a Google Doc with everything that we're going to use in this video. The first thing we need it to make sure that you're eligible for rewards. If you're outside the creativity program regions, I have accounts for sale in the video's description. Let's get the script. Go to ChatGPT and ask for some ideas about a life lesson video. ChatGPT can generate numerous ideas daily, so we'll never run out of content. As you see, the AI has listed several video ideas. Browse through the list and select one you like. I'll choose this gratitude video idea. Copy the idea, paste it back into the AI, and request a paragraph just over 1,000 characters long. This length ensures our voiceover will be over a minute. The AI has generated a complete script for me. Read through it, and if you're satisfied, we now want to get some image prompts. Ask the AI to split your video into parts, and then ask for two Leonardo AI image prompts per part. I'll love the exact prompt in the Google Doc. We now have a list of prompts to use. With our script done, we can go ahead and start generating some images to use in our video. Head to the Google Doc and click on the link for Leonardo. Once you're on Leonardo, hit Launch App in the top right. Once the next page has loaded, you want to hit Image Creation in the middle. Once we're on the next page, head to the top right and toggle on the switch that says Legacy Mode. This will save you credits. Once here, we need to make some changes on the left. Make sure that you're only generating one image or you'll use extra credits. Next, scroll down and hit the drop down under Advanced Controls. You then want to change the ratio to 9 by 16. With these settings done, we can start copying over the prompts from ChatGPT. Copy them, then paste them into this box up here and hit Generate. All right, you wanna go ahead and do this for all the prompts that we got from ChatGPT. If this is done right, it should only cost four credits per image. I'm going to go ahead and skip to when we have the first image of our farmer. Now we need to make sure that all the following images look like him, because if we have 10 different farmers, our video won't be very good. Hover over the image and hit these two arrows to use him as image guidance. On the next page, under type, you need to hit the drop down and change the type to style reference. Once you've done that, set the strength to low also. If I skip ahead, you can now see that for every image we've generated of the farmer, it's clearly the same person. Carry on generating your images and I'll skip to when they're done. Now, before we download all the images, you want to firstly go ahead and hit this back button in the top left. Once back on the main page, you then wanna hit personal feed just below the back button. Once here, you now wanna scroll down and we're going to select the first image that we created. Once here, hit the button that says image to motion. On the next page, you wanna make sure that the strength is set to two and then hit generate. Now you wanna repeat this process with as many images as possible in order until you run out of credits. Don't worry about your credits, they reset each day. However, if you wanna make your video better, we need all the images to move. Don't worry, it's only $10 to upgrade. It's not essential, but it helps. When you're done with that, head back to image generation. I'll skip to when these images are created. All right, you can now see that we have some moving images, they look good, so you wanna go ahead and download everything that we've created from Leonardo, the moving images, and also the still images. With our images done, I wanna talk about my private community. If you think my videos are good, imagine what's in here. Check it out in the description, as the price will only go up. We'll now generate our AI voice with 11 labs. Once you're on this page, find the drop-down menu with loads of voices that the AI too gives you. Scroll through, try out some, and select one that you like. It should be calm and inspiring for our video. Now head back to ChatGPT, find the script that we generated, and copy it. Head back to 11 Labs and in the main text box, paste our script from ChatGPT. With the script ready, click on the Generate Speech button in the bottom right corner. Once 11 Labs processes the request, 
download the voiceover, and we'll be set for the next step. Eleven Labs has a character-based system, but like Leonardo, it's super cheap to get more if you need to. We now have everything we need, so let's edit it all together in CapCut. Start by importing all the media we've gathered into CapCut, the voiceover and the images. First, click the voiceover and drag the voiceover onto the timeline. We need to eliminate any dead air, these long gaps with no audio. You can see one here. Press B on your keyboard to bring up the splitting tool, then split and remove the silent sections. Now press A, delete the bit in the middle and bring the voiceover back together. This will keep viewers engaged and avoid any awkward silences. Make sure to do this for the entire voiceover. Now let's incorporate the images. Start by adding your first image to the timeline. Now for each image that we've gathered, you want to crop the duration of this image so that it lasts the relevant part of the voiceover. As we did this in ChatGPT, you can use that if you get lost. You want to carry on inserting all of your images to match the corresponding parts of the voiceover. Aim for a full timeline of images, and I'll skip to when it's done. Next, we're going to add some animation to your images. There's two ways to do this. The first if through keyframing. Select an image and position your cursor at the start. Next, head to the top right. Now under the position settings, you want to hit this diamond. Now drag your cursor to the end of the image and you want to increase the scale to around 120%. This should make your image zoom in throughout its duration. The second way to do it is built into CapCut. Select an image, go to Animation in the top right, choose Combo, and pick an animation you like. You can now see that the image moves. You want to apply an animation to every image in our timeline, so I'll skip to when this is done. We now want to add some transitions, a specific one to be precise. Head to Transitions and click on the search bar. You now want to search for Dark Fade. Drag this in between each image and set the duration to 0.2 seconds. You need to repeat this for all your images. Next, let's add captions. Go to the top left and select Text, then choose Auto Captions and hit Generate. If this is a pre-feature, don't worry, I'll show a free workaround in a sec. Once generated, drag the captions to the center of the screen. Customize the font by heading to the top right and selecting your preferred style. For added depth, enable Stroke and Shadow. Then, click on Animation at the top and choose Captions. I'm using the Spring animation. With your captions set and in place, it's time to add some adjustments. Go to Adjustment in the top left. Now on the next section, click the plus button under Custom Adjustment. Once the adjustment is added, select it and extend its duration to cover the whole video. Now head to the top right to edit the settings. Increase the saturation to around 15 for a vibrant look. Scroll down and adjust the vignette to about 15 to darken the corners. The final thing that I'll add to our video is some effects. Head to Effects in the top left. Here you can really search for what you want, add things like a mist, maybe a lighting effect for the storm, basically just stuff that's relevant to the video. All right, this video is done, so export it. To get free captions, download the VN editor using the link provided in the Google Doc. Open VN, import your video, and tap Auto Captions in the bottom left corner. While these captions might not be as polished as those from CapCut, they're a good free option. Once you're satisfied with the captions, export your video. Here's the finished result. In a small village nestled between rolling hills lived a humble farmer named Kiran. Each day, Kiran toiled in his fields from dawn to dusk, barely making ends meet. One harsh winter, a fierce storm destroyed his crops, leaving him devastated. That's it for today's video. Check out the description for the best digital assets. Bye.